Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your ultra wide monitor into a dual monitor display. And we'll be using the Samsung G93 SC series 49 inch ultra wide uh, monitor. All right, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is connect our PC to our monitor using two outputs. And in this case, uh, we have a very nice graphics card which has multiple outputs in the back. This is an RTX 4090, which has an HDMI and two, three display ports. And for this purpose, what we're doing here, I'm using one of the HDMI ports and one of the display ports and running them and connecting them to the back of the monitor for two of the outputs. However, if you don't have a nice graphics card, let's say you want to hook up your uh, laptop, which only has one HDMI output, like this one right here, uh, what you can do is you can buy these other attachments and I'll put a link to both of them on the bottom. One of those attachments is a USB-A to two HDMI ports. So that's pretty universal, should work for any monitor. Just plug that in and now you have two HDMI ports. If you have it, I would actually recommend getting a Thunderbolt connection like this one and plugging it into a Thunderbolt port here, if your computer has it. And that should give you a, a better uh, display options. So you can still split it into two HDMI, but the quality should be better because the Thunderbolt connection has a lot faster. All right, uh, so this is how uh, you can hook up your either laptop or your PC to the monitor. So you can have multiple uh, outputs going into it. All right, so now that we have uh, our PC outputs, both outputs plugged into the back of our monitor, we need to set up our monitor to receive a dual display. And in order to do this, your monitor needs to have the function what's called PIP PBP for that to work. And I'll show you uh, how we access that here for this monitor, which is the Samsung G93SC 49 inch ultra wide monitor. There's a button in the back, you click that and press up to access the menu up here then we're going to scroll down to PIP PBP and then we're going to go to the right and we'll select PIP PBP you got to make sure this is on all right if this is off it won't work so we'll select that on we'll go to the left then we're going to go to mode type you have four different modes you have a the top mode here is a split screen so half of the screen will be on the right the other half of the left the second option is one third of the screen will be on the right, and two thirds of the screen will be on the left. The third option is reversed. One third of the one, the screen on the left will be one third of the screen display, and the screen on the right will be two thirds. And then the final option here is a display within a display. So let's take a look at what that looks like. There you go. So now we have a wide display for one monitor. And uh, the second monitor is within that first monitor here, right on top of it. Let's see, we, it's gonna, there we go. And so uh, uh, that that's the fourth mode. And if we're in the fourth mode, let's go back to the PIP PBP section, go to the right. Now we can select the screen size of that small screen on the right, on the left. Right now it's big, I can select a smaller option and it becomes smaller, so we can change that size. There we go, so you see how it became smaller. I can, okay, let's make it bigger again. Screen size, let's make it bigger. So the bottom, now it's gonna make that bigger. See the difference? All right, and what else we can do with that mode is if we go back to that PIP. Uh, let's scroll down. We just play with the screen size. Let's look at screen position. So I can take that screen and I can put it in four different locations. Right now it's in the upper left corner. If I go to the next one, it's gonna to go to the upper right. If I go to the next one, it's lower left. If you go to the next one, it's lower right. Pretty self-explanatory. Then you can also change the source. Uh, you can change you can select a source uh, for the two different screens. Screen one is from this display port, and screen two is from the HDMI one port. You can go to the the first uh, um, here and then go scroll down and select which which where you want that source to be coming from. If 
for that monitor okay and then for the source sound same thing you can choose the sound to be coming from one this one source or from the second source screen ratio we can select that you can play around with that um, not sure exactly what it does you just have the auto and white but if you click one or the other nothing really happens uh, and then you can do the same thing for the second screen auto or white okay and then finally the contrast you can adjust the contrast for screen one or the contrast for screen two you just scroll down and you can adjust it all right so this is how you set up your screen for a, a dual screen display i'm going to go back to the split screen because i'm assuming most people will be using the split screen and once you're here now that we have set up our monitor we need to set up windows that's the third step the third and final step to do that i need to access the display menu so you come to the desktop you right click on the desktop and you click display settings right here and once you're in display settings this monitor this will pop up and your first and second monitor are shown and Right now, the first, if you want to work on monitor one, you select that. If you want to work on monitor two, you select that as well. Right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the monitors are set up correctly on the correct sides. If I click identify, monitor one is on the left, monitor two is uh, on the right. And it's the same thing here. Monitor one is on the left, monitor two is on the right. Now let's switch it. Apply. If I do that, if I put them on the wrong sides, now I won't be able to cross over. I have to go on the other side, like this, go across, see? I can't go to the center because this is on the wrong side. So I'm just gonna go like this, click apply, click identify, and now it's on the right side. One is on the left. Okay, so that's the first thing we do. The second thing you can do here is you can select which monitor is your main monitor. Right now, monitor one is selected as my main monitor. I can also select monitor two and make that my main monitor. And what that does, you see all those icons from here transfer onto here, and my uh, desk, my button to go to the desktop to go, uh, minimize everything is now on, on this screen. Okay, uh, let's switch it back to the left side. Yeah, you can see I can't minimize anymore here. I can only minimize with the left one. Okay. So that's the other thing you can make, you can switch your main monitor. Another thing is you can play around with the HDR settings, the night light, you want the night light to be on or off, the scale. Uh, so you would select, let's say screen one, you can change the scale from 200 to 100. You see it zoomed in, made the icons a lot smaller. I'll go back to 200 for the recommended because it's easier to see them. The display resolution can also be changed. Again, let's select maybe we'll select screen two and I want to change the resolution to I don't know something crazy like this um, keep changes but now I decrease the re resolution for whatever reason but uh, I better keep it at high resolution so I'm gonna click that one keep changes and that's how you can that's how you set up your monitors with windows as well I know this was a uh, essentially a dual screen setup 101 I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching.